What's up, y'all? Jay Shell. Hey. Hey, Hello, everybody. Check it out. We got a, we're having a show tomorrow. All right, come on now. Have a good time. We appreciate you coming. Holla back. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you there. Bye. For a local gospel artist who is waiting for the nearly impossible, a double lung transplant. Miraculously, even with breathing tubes and heavy life-sustaining apparatus, she has not lost her ability to sing. <laughs> Hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> I came fired up, I came fired up, I came fired up, I came fired up, I came fired up. You've been stressing and worried. Kawipia Livingston has the voice of an angel. Got some things on your mind. And what she is doing is remarkable. Giving a private hybrid concert to a few people online and a few people carefully spaced out in a waiting room that was turned into a makeshift concert hall down the hall from her hospital bed. And what she sings is what she wishes for. This could be the last time, you know? And so when they told me I could and I called my friend, some of them lived out of state and they got on planes. It was the most amazing, amazing singing experience I've ever had. And I've been on stage with all of the gospel greats, but that moment meant so much to me. And so for 45 minutes, Kawipio sang. God wants you to know, to stop worrying about what you can't control. She gave all she had left. Will it work out in time? And now she waits. But her hope is that her beautiful voice will reach the heavens in time for a divine gift of life.
To bow before 
Let's try it.
show oh. and a headpiece and makeup just so I can feel special. She's not even certain to be here today because I needed so much help. He's working all by himself. Kyle is like the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> but he's working today by himself and our whole unit. Those people really need prayer. They really need God. They, they're not even conscious. Lot of them. Oh. He works. They work to make sure people are living. And he shouldn't even be in here, but because I need the help, he came in here to help me. This staff, this this idea, they closed down the waiting area for me, I mean, just so I can sing with y'all one more time. Yeah. And they make sure that everything connected, I mean, I'm grateful for the people that got sent to help me to the the social workers, uh, whatever I need, they fix, you know, whatever I need. So I'm just grateful to you guys, the nursing staff, the um, nursing assistants that clean you up. I mean, they really, they really work hard to help us live, and they have gone above and behind for me. And so I'm grateful to you guys. Uh, registered nurses, physical therapists, respiratory therapists, nursing. You know, doctors get a lot of the, but these people make it happen. Yeah, they make us yeah. feel better. Yeah, After they true. say what we need, they make it happen. And they're so humble and the stuff they do, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you to my parents and my brother and my father and my brother who don't live here. Mm -hmm. Gloria who just walked in. Oh, who doesn't live in Detroit <laughs> come from another state to see what she's saying. So my hairdresser sitting over there. She don't say. So Marlita who got on a plane. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> and to all of you who have repeatedly come to the hospital to see about her. Thank you. I have one special guest here. And I asked her to come. Somebody you're probably not familiar with but her name is Kyra. Same day. Okay. You don't remember that. You still got it. Yeah, you still got it. <laughs> he play it every time. Yes, too. I do. I won't be crying telling my testimony because it has been such an amazing journey. I know that's crazy to say when you've been getting sick and sicker. But if you think about what happened to people in the Bible, they went through worse stuff that I probably never could have dealt with. But a lot of people can't deal with what I'm dealing with. But God has been faithful to me and I just remember when he showed me the vision of myself singing, I was totally engrossed in the praise and worship of it, which is odd because I never really wanted to be a praise and worship leader. But I wasn't afraid, and it was so hype. And so with you praying and saying, you know, I don't go to parties, but this is a party I want to go to, it it's probably is a party. It's probably exactly what it was. It was intimate, but it was packed. And I just said, I, I felt in my spirit, when I come out on stage, I'm gonna be saying, I came fired up, I came fired up, I came fired up, I came fired up, I came. Cause I don't want it to start slow and burn like a, a, a ember and then just it get bright. I want it to start on fire because that's how I feel already. And I, it, I haven't manifested yet, but I'm so full already of all the things that he's allowed me to see. Some of the lives he's allowed me to see that I touch. Um, I've seen God's hand on me during this journey because how would if some people, some people would never have heard about Jesus this way. If I hadn't had to come here, 
And so at some point, the pain that I was feeling, it stopped. You know, it's like I accept the pain now because, not because I like to suffer, but because they have to see somebody who say their child or the king endure a certain way. Um, we don't get mad and cuss because they make mistakes. We say, okay, when they say they sorry, we say we forgive. And a lot of stuff has happened since I've been here, and I've had to forgive. Because I can't have nothing in between me and God because I needed a miracle. And so most of the time they're saying, you're so remarkable. That ain't how I feel. Not only is that, sometimes I want to scream, I want to holler, but I can't. Because I'm his daughter, and he raised me a certain way. I represent Christ everywhere, anywhere I am. And it just so happens I'm here. I'm here and they're looking at me crazy because they're sad. <clears throat> because my lungs look tattered. They're sad because they said I got a little hole in my heart. A hole in my heart that's pulling blood the wrong way. They're sad because they see people come here and die all the time. And so they're anticipating how they feel. So when they come in here, they're rubbing my arm and squeezing my hand. And they're trying to do everything they can. And I just smile at them and say, I can't wait till God show you what he's going to do. And my prayer is it makes them a believer. Because sometimes you don't know God a real way until you experience him a real way. And I'm telling you, I know God for for myself, my faith. I ain't never loved God as much as I love Him now. Not because I have to, but just because I do. <laughs> I enjoy waking up and there's a song in my heart because I know that's my spirit worshiping even when I'm asleep. But when I wake up, I join in because everybody don't get that. And I absolutely would have missed my time with God if I had to the trick me out of me. Because I wake up talking to him, I wake up singing. And I was not happy about the idea that that couldn't happen. So not having that surgery was a relief. And I told God, I said, I don't really want this. I need you to do something for me. And they called the surgery off. And I was relieved. I said, well, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to show out now. Because they left me with no hope. But my hope is in Christ. And I said to my family and to my friends, if I leave here, it's because he wanted me. And it's okay, because I'm saved. And I'll be safe. But I believe there's something else he wants me to do. Because I wake up every morning like, hey, what y'all doing? And so I am not sad. I'm full, but I ain't sad and I'm not tired. I don't care what. I'm living until he come get me and to declare his works. So that's pretty much all I got to say. I'll see y'all at the party. Came fired up, I came fired up, I came fired up, I came fired up. Let's go! of the past I wonder where did the time go what do we have to show 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 battle scars to prove our love sometimes good and sometimes bad I'm working my way back to you it's been so long